Today is 20 September 2018, 3 p.m. Today is day three of impatient treatment. This one-year-old mid-drip hamster, we did the tumor removal surgery less 24 hours ago. So now you can see the wound. The wound is dry already. No bleeding from the wound. We use for zero absorbable stitches to stitch off the wound. We did four stitch here and all the stitches are stay attached. So now we wait the hamster. Body weight after the surgery is around 46 grams. The weight before surgery is 55 grams, so that the tumor that we remove from the ear is around 9 grams. This hamster came three days ago with large smelly tumor on the left side of the ears. Ona said that the tumor is here for around one to two months already. Mm. The tumor is two smelly. Okay, it's two parts. One part is the gangrenous part, very smelly, and the other part is nearer to the body. It's not uh, gangrenous. Yeah. Okay. So the treatment is mm. you need to do the surgery. Mm. Before surgery, doctor went to give antibiotics and anti-inflammatory at least three days. So we give antibiotics and anti-inflammatory. After giving antibiotics and anti-inflammatory on day two, the gangrenous part of the tumor is dropped off. So that the doctor decided to do the surgery after the dropping of the gangrenous parts. Now you can see the remaining part of the tumor the non-gangrenous part yeah. So the doctor used electrosurgery to remove the non-gangrenous part of the tumor that attached to the hamster. Hmm. Okay. So this one is after surgery photo, you can see the stitches are here and this one is the non gangrenous part of the juma that we remove from the hamster by using electrosurgery. So this is the final so the day three we can see now is the day stitch one area. after the surgery, the stitches are stay at the mm. here and the hamster is okay. Healthy. He didn't drinking normally and urine urine H2 also normal and he he will go, go back home. home today with the disinfectant watch and antibiotics. Yeah, so you can see the hamster has survived the anesthesia and uh, surgery and uh, this is what the owner was worried about, that the hamster would die. So the tips will be for hamster owners is that don't wait till the tumour becomes too big and uh, rotten and smelly, then you go and seek a vet to do surgery. You should have done it earlier. And when it was small, about five millimeter, and not infected and smelly, then the chances are very good for anesthetic risk. It, there's less risk or even no risk. And also the other thing is, it's much cheaper as well. This concludes the presentation.